Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Let's add fractions and mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. What we have here in the first example is that we have a mixed number and a fraction. 5 and 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. So here, basically, this one is an easy example because we have the same denominators. Now, how do we add them? First, this one is a whole number. And what we need to do is to add the fractions. We have 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. Copy this one. And since the fraction has the same denominators, this one is 5 and also 5, all we need to do is to add the numerators. 1 plus 2, that is 3, and copy their common denominator, which is 5. By the way, guys, before declaring this one as your final answer, we need to check if we can still simplify the fraction. Since this one is already simplified, we can declare that our answer is simply 5 and 3 over 5. That's it, guys. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given two mixed numbers. We have 4 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 over 6. First thing we need to do is we can do regrouping. We will add first, or we will add separately, the whole numbers. So it goes like this, 4 plus 2. Then, let's add the two fractions separately. We have the 1 half plus the 1 over 6. Now, let's add them. 4 plus 2, that is 6 plus plus our fraction, 1 half plus 1 over 6. This is the main problem. So, I would recommend that we can use this method in which we will try to get the same denominator. Here, we have 2 and 6. So, what do you think is the LCD? Their LCD is simply 6. So, what we're going to do is that we will think of number that we will multiply by 2 and the product is 6. Very good. That number is 3. And also, if you will multiply your, numerator, your denominator, this 2 by 3, you need to also multiply your numerator by 3 for us to get an equivalent fraction. Here naman, for 1 over 6, since the denominator is already 6, we don't need to multiply any number for 6. Okay? So it goes like this. 1 times 3, that is 3, over 2 times 3, that would be 6, plus 1 over 6. And kung notice nyo, what we have right now are two fractions with the same denominator. So we can add this, 6 plus 3 plus 1, that would be 4, and then copy your denominator 6. Now, actually we can combine them. It will become 6 and 4 over 6. So let's check if we can still simplify the fraction. Because before declaring it as the final answer, we need to simplify this. And your 4 over 6 can be divided by 2 to simplify the answer. So what will happen is that we will copy this one 6. Then 4 divided by 2 is 2 over 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So let me correct this one. This one must be 6 and 2 over 3. Now, our sum here is simply 6 and 2 over 3. That's it, guys. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we have here a mixed number and a fraction. So let's try to add them. We have here 1, and let's add them separately. So plus 1 half 
plus 3 over 4. Now, what do you think is the LCD of 2 and 4? This one. Very good. The LCD is simply 4. So what we need to do is to multiply this fraction for us to create a new fraction with the denominator of 4. We will divide this by 2 and this by 2. So let's continue. Copy natin yung ating 1 plus 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 times 2 which is 4. Then copy plus 3 over 4. Now, since we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators. It goes like this. 1, your whole number, 2 plus 3, which is 5, over 4. Now, kung man notice nyo, here, in our fraction, this one is an improper fraction. We need to convert that into a mixed number. To convert that, let's try dividing 5 by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract it, so it become 1. So this 5 over 4 is equivalent to, copy muna natin to, 1 plus, this is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 4. This whole number, it came from the quotient. This one is from the remainder, and this is your divisor. And to finalize our answer, 1 plus 1 is 2. Then copy your fraction, which is 1 over 4. And this is the answer, guys. Let's put it here. We have 2 and 1 over 4. This is the final answer, guys. Last example, let's have number 4. 2 and 1 third plus 2, 3 and 1 over 8. Let's add them separately. 2 plus 3. Then plus, add the fractions. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 8. Now, add these whole numbers. This is 5. Plus, we need to think what is the LCD between 3 and 8. Okay, very good. The LCD is 20. Four. Now, what do we need to multiply in 3 to make it 24? Okay, that's correct. This is 8, and this is 8. What about here? Very good. We will multiply this by 3, and also by 3. Now, let's simplify this. 1 times 8 is 8, over 3 times 8, which is 24, plus... 1 times 3, that is 3, over 8 times 3, that would be 24. Now, copy this, 5, plus, add the numerators, 8 plus 3, that would be 11, over, copy your common denominator, 24. Combine them, that would be 5 and 11 over 24. And this is the answer, guys. So, I hope, guys, in our... 9 minute video, you learn something from this video. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest upload. And by the way guys, I will give you the fifth item as part of our routine. I want you to answer this one. Let's try 2 and 1 half plus 4 and 1 third. So what is your answer here? Subscribe guys and thank you for watching. Peace out.